Hello everyone, my name is DJ Barry and in this video we'll be going over SNDL's performance today and what this means for the future of the stock price. And if you guys are new to my channel, I make daily videos where I talk about stocks, finances and other aspects of investing. So if you like this kind of content then feel free to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. And also guys, we are getting extremely close to hitting 4,000 subscribers. Right now we are currently sitting just under 80 subscribers away, so it would be greatly appreciated if you guys could subscribe. It's free and that also helps me grow my channel and helps videos like this reach more people. So SNDL opened up today trading at 86 cents and that was also our low for the day as right after we opened we saw SNDL run up and hit the high for the day of 92 cents and then after that we saw SNDL take a little bit of a dip and then after that we just kept on slowly moving downwards and we briefly touched the 87 cent level but thankfully we were able to not dip below that line at all and at 4 p.m we closed the day trading at 87 cents and now at the time I'm making this video we were able to come up a little bit and we are trading at 89 cents in the after hours. So I have to say, SNDL did pretty well today considering most of the market was in the red for the day. And yes, we are only up a little over 2%, but that is much better than being in the red, so I'll take it. And recently, I've been seeing a lot of people talk more about SNDL on social media and on Twitter and everything. And lately, our stock has been getting a lot of attention. So with all this new attention coming in, I just want to quickly take the time to tell you guys why I believe SNDL is a very attractive investment and why I'm excited about the future of this company. So to start off, I'm going to tell you guys something really, really important about the company, and that is that they have absolutely zero debt. So throughout 2020, Sundial Growers really focused on paying off their debt, and for multiple stock offerings and other means of raising money, they were able to pay off over $228 million worth of debt, and because of that, they are currently debt-free, and not only are they debt-free, they also have over $752 million in unrestricted cash, which is just an insane number. And for those who don't understand what I mean when I say unrestricted cash, this means that they have they have over $752 million in cash on hand that they can use at any time for any reason. And it's not like they aren't spending all their money and just saved it to, to achieve that number. SNDL is investing their money and making major moves in improving the company. And even after investing closer to $500 million, they still have over $700 million in cash on hand, which is just unbelievable. But now let's talk about some of those investments that Sundell has made. So back in May, just a week before their quarter one of 2021 earnings call, Sundell announced that they have acquired a company called Inner Spirit. And us investors have been waiting a while for Sundial to acquire a company with all the money they have. So when we got this news, this was really big for the stock price. But now let me tell you guys more about this acquisition. So Inner Spirit operates 19 corporate retail cannabis outlets and receives income from 67 franchise cannabis retail outlets. And they also plan to open up 30 new stores throughout 2021. And this company is one of the largest cannabis retail chains in Canada, serving over 2.3 million customers in 2020. So yes, you guys heard that right. Sundial Growers acquired a company that already has over 80 stores that are bringing in revenue, and they have already proven to be one of the largest cannabis sellers in all of Canada. So right there is something that is almost guaranteed to increase Sundial's revenue while also providing the company with even more exposure. So this is looking like a really promising investment for Sundial, and we look forward to hearing more about this during the earnings call in August. And there are a lot more things I want to talk about in this video, but to save some time, I will be making a whole separate video on why I think SNDL is a great investment, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But now let's move on and take a look at the stock charts and see what they are telling us. So as always, first I want to talk about our support line. So what I like to do when I'm looking for the support line is I like to identify the major line of support and then just the normal support line that the stock has been holding up recently. And the first one I want to go over in this video is our major support line. So as you guys can see here on the chart, back on May 13th, we saw SNDL crash down, hit a low of 65 cents. So now the 65 cent line is going to be our major support line because this is the lowest point we've hit in over three months. And for those who don't understand what I mean when I say major support line, think of this line is like a belt keeping up your pants. This line is the major line that's holding up the stock price and keeping it from crashing down much lower. And if we do break below this line, then that'll be a pretty good signal that will most likely see stock price come crashing down a pretty good amount before we see the bleeding stop. So we really do not want to see SNDO break below this line, but thankfully we are currently more than 25 cents away from this level, so let's hope we can see that gap continue to grow bigger. But now let's move on and talk about the actual spur line that SNDO has formed this week. 
So our normal spur line is going to be the 86 cent line. And as you guys can see here on the chart, before we saw SNDL jump up today, this is the line we were stable at. So when SNDL hit this price, the stock showed some support and we were able to hold this line and bounce up to a much higher price. So for now, our support line is going to be the 86 cent line. And if we do break below this line, then that will obviously not be a good sign. But as long as we stay above that major support line of 65 cents, then we'll be okay. And with SNDL being beat down so much over the last few weeks, I think we are getting ready to see things turn around. And I think we'll see Sundial stay above the support line and hopefully form a new and higher support line very soon. But that's just my opinion, guys, and I always could be wrong. So now we just have to wait and see if we can hold this. But as I said before, if we do break below this line, then obviously that would not be a good sign. But as long as we stay above our major support line, then we'll be all right. So those were the two lines that we're looking to stay above. But now let's move on and talk about the lines that we're trying to break above. So what I like to do when I'm looking for the line that would stock to break above, I like to look at the previous levels that the stock was trading at before we came down to a lower price. So when we take a look at the chart, we can see that we're trading at 92 cents today before we came down a tiny bit to where we are right now. So when s &DL hit this line, the stock showed some resistance and was unable to break above. So now this is the line we want s &DL to try and break above because if we can break above previous resistance points, and that'll be a very good sign. And if we do break above the 92 cent line, then the next line we'll be trying to break above will be the 95 cent line. Okay, so after everything we talked about in this video, where can we see s &DL go tomorrow, Wednesday, July 4th? Okay, so with mostly the whole stock market being in the red today, SNDL was thankfully able to stay in the green and even make a little bit of a run up in the after hours. And now going into tomorrow, I think we could see SNDL once again outperform the rest of the markets. And I think tomorrow we'll see the whole overall market be in the green after the day we had today. But I think we'll see SNDL be able to outpace the rest of the market. And I think we have the potential to see a 5-6% to type of day and possibly even more than that. But remember guys, these are just my predictions and I could be completely wrong. The markets could do terrible tomorrow and SNDL could crash down a lot, or we could just see everything be in the green and run up a lot. Nobody knows what's going to happen and it is extremely difficult to accur accurately predict excuse me, where a stock is going. So just please make sure you guys always do your own research as well and do not listen to everything I say because if you do listen to everything I say and I end up being wrong, then you can lose some money. So just always do your own research. But anyways, let's talk more about where we could see s &DL go tomorrow. So I think the chart will look pretty similar to what we saw today. I think we could see s &DL make that big jump in price right after the markets opened, but I will not be surprised if we see that dip that we saw today, where we just slowly come back down. But I think for tomorrow, as we get closer to market close, we'll see s &DL begin to go into an upwards pattern and close the day somewhere, ar somewhere above 92 cents. And for the high for the day tomorrow, I think we could see s &DL reach the 95 cent resist resistance line, but I'm not confident that we'll break above it just yet. But for the low for the day, I expect us to hit our 86 cent support line and hopefully stay above that. And that is going to be all for this video, guys. Those are my predictions on where I think s &DL is going tomorrow, but now I'm curious to see what you guys think. So comment your predictions down below and I hope you guys all enjoyed. And if you did, then feel free to like and subscribe. And remember, guys, we are about 80 subscribers away from 4,000. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys could hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys all had a great day. Thank you all for watching. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out.